Welcome everybody, I am Jhar Ellis, and today we're going to be opening up 150 Storm Atronach crates, crown crates, which are back for a limited time here at the end of January of 2019. So I'm going to open up these. These have returned here. They ha This is not the first time that they've been available. So I do have a couple of the collectibles that come from these crates, but not very many. I don't have any of the Apex rewards. I have very few of the Legendary and Epic rewards. So I'm going to open up 150 of these. Here's your pal Pacruti, the Chur, Mion. We have Twitch chat here as well. So thank you, everybody. Here we go. I'm just going to go pretty quickly as we go through this. It's a lot to open. I'm optimistic. Hey, new Daedric Scamp pet. See, I don't need to have all the blue stuff. So, this will be good. Lots of new collectibles. And you'll get a sense of what the drop rates on these are kind of like. You'll get a lot of things that are going to be like... Things that you just want to gem. Like the potions and everything. Hey, gold card. Red Pit Wolf Pup. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. I love the puppers. Hey, good. Gold and purple. Black Mask Bear Dog. Pacruti wants me to have lots of peppers this time. Go. Okay, good, good. Continue along. Scout Captain Uniform. Cool. <laughs> People on the Twitch chat love the puppers. Too bad says 150 is total madness. Well, I wanted to have enough that... In any case, I can at least hopefully have enough gems to be able to buy everything. Hellstrom Ancestor Lizard. Oh, that's cute too. It's, it's like a lizard pepper. The Storm Atro crates are a little bit different. They were one of the first ones to come out, and they didn't actually have Radiant Apex, so you can actually complete your collection just by buying everything with gems. So it's a, it's a little bit different that way. Orchid Nixid. Ooh, I like that. That's a good addition to like a garden and a house if you're into decorating. Looks good. So far getting lots of new stuff. More poppers. <laughs> Short hold. Shepherd. I can't believe how many... Dogs I was missing. Sees that you are ready to play. Dwarf style mage's hat. Fun stuff. Getting a lot of invisibility potions. Those will all end up being in the gem pile. Never seen such a magnificent display of good fortune. Black Magic says Pacruti is ESO's most valuable NPC. <laughs> that makes sense. No Apex. So we're down 15 crates so far. One-tenth of the way. Getting a lot of gold cards, though. Mind Tribbin is one of the things that people are most looking forward to with opening these up again. Or if you have the gems for it, it's a good one to get. A lot of people like the look of it. A little creepy looking, but can transform how you look. Bonus card. Double purples. Purple dagger back. This this one's popular. We'll go ahead and set that one that's active. Need more boars. Need more pigs. Pig mounts? Maybe pig mounts is something that would make a good addition to ESO. Maybe. Enveloping scales. Quite an impactful body marking. Delicious as a pig is super cool looking. More. We'll, we'll go faster and faster as we open these up. Start to get lots of more duplicates. They do get auto gemmed as you get the duplicates too. Memento that I already had. Storm Afro Aura. Gold and purple. Rosy Netch Calf. Ooh, fancy. I like that. And a Storm Orb Juggle Memento, so you can juggle these Storm Orbs. Good for RP. I prefer juggling pumpkins. 
Bonus card. Article symbols. Pretty flashy. If you have a bare chest, otherwise it's not going to show up. I cover up. Chronic says we need a cow mount. Yes, yes, cow mount or gator mount. Make a selection. <laughs> Lots of fun ways that they could take this. Okay. Down 30, down 20%. A lot of there's a lot of crates. Guar already had that from before. Feathered headdress, fancy for your Argonian. Another another Netch calf. Just get 33 gems back from that. It's the Chublum. Ah, it's so cute. Okay, I love this one. I love this Chublum. It's good fat. And it will, like, every once in a while, just, like, flap up a little bit, like, hover, like, six inches above the ground. It's adorable. Oh! My first... My first Apex. Whatever it is, it's gonna be new. Storm Atro Bearer. Fun, fun. Cool thing about these is, as you rear up on them, they'll they'll emit a bunch of lightning. So, as a cool effect, Storm Atro Bear first, first of hopefully many Apex. As I go through this, <laughs> if nothing else, I'm hoping I get enough gems. I should get enough gems to be able to buy everything. So that's my plan. More. You already had that, so you got gems instead. Very nice. I'll be getting lots of gems. Select your rewards, my friend. <laughs> True Snark says that the Storm Atro's de Storm Atro Bear's default name is Ugly Hugs. I don't know what that means. That's a sad name, though. Bonus card. Lots of duplicates. Probably already at a point where I have most of the blue tier items. Good chunk of the purples. Still missing a couple. Probably missing a lot of the legendaries still. And missing five of the apex. There we go. Upright antler skull cap. Get a lot of hunter oriented type. things from this, but I don't know if a hunter would be caught dead with an antler skull cap like that. <laughs> it was very festive. Brilliant brocade robes. Fancy. Okay, this will be our 50th crate opening. Palomino horse. I've got several Mount so far, several pets so far, lots of costumes and mementos. So, so far, opening 50 of these, it's been a good mix of, of different items. Select your rewards, my friend. And we still have 100 to go, 99 to go. These precious gems can be traded for valuable rewards. Lots of gems, lots of gems. This could be useful. Now, if, ever, if anybody wants to port on me in Mournhold as I do this, I believe most of the pets will be visible from behind Pacruti. Just saying, just saying, if you want to port to me from the guild roster. Hedge Wizard's Claw Cap. It looks a little, a little scary. <laughs> Reminds me of the Kiss Me Knots. Kind of like, you don't really want to get too close. Be your lucky day. Oh, the 
open. So I've, I've had one Apex within 50 crates. So I'm hoping I get two more. Radman with a follow. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to our crate opening. Our, wow, second Apex. Second Apex. I don't know what I was really expecting as far as what the drop rates on these would be, but... Storm Atro Wolf. Are we... Yes, I'm happy with that. I'm glad it wasn't a duplicate. Would have got a lot of gems, but this saves me a lot. I think I like the wolf more than the bearer, so might have to preview these at the end. Fun, fun. <laughs> Delicious says that's the best one. I like the wolf. Though, have to love the guars too. I haven't got the guar yet. Bonus. Legendary card. Red Pet Wolf. More Aroos. Lots of wolves. I got the pupper as well. Little, little baby pup. Got lots of wolf puppers and lots of doggo puppers. As we've been opening these. A lot, a lot thank of you, new things. Thank you. Hey, Purdue Viper. Thank you very much for the subscription. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you can now mess with my lights and use all the spicy mo emotes. Thank you for your support. That gets us closer to our daily sub goal, too. We'll do some bonus giveaways for Twitch chat at the end of this. Are you ready to reveal your rewards? Exceptional. Once more, my good friend? Uh, I, see, I see a little griffin back there. Need more pets in the background running around. Earlier I saw chicken running around at like super speed. Aw, people griffin. <laughs> Shiny gems, my compliments. Select your rewards, my friend. This will come in handy. Some of the mementos and things that you use will also be visible even though the players aren't visible. Belly Dancer Veil. This is actually one of the things I use under my cow mask. Belly Dancer Veil. I don't remember where I picked it up. I might have bought it with gems the first time around. I like the look of it. Make a selection and reveal your rewards. A solid pick. Another go round, my friend. Okay, it says I reset and did it didn't count, so I did make the goal. Okay, we'll do the bonus giveaways at the end regardless. Okay, continuing. Your rewards are More openings. Okay, this will be our 75th. This will be a halfway point. Picked up two apexes so far, so I'm halfway through and I've picked up two apexes, a bear and a wolf, and a lot of other goodies. Probably about on par with what I was expecting, so not really disappointed. But happy to get the new mounts. Might look good in that new Rastone house that's coming out in the next several months. The Frost Vault. The Frost Vault home, which has all these dwarven structures and electricity flying everywhere. I think the Storm Atro mounts might fit in pretty nicely there. More crates. Bonus card. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Chronic Moxie with the sub. Thank you so much for your support. You are, you are fantastic. And you can mess with my lights and use all the spicy move emotes. Thank you so much. Okay, more crates, more crates. I, I see a monkey butt in the background. Mind Shriven Horse. Hey, that matches well with that Mind Shriven skin from before. If you want to go full Mind Shriven. It looks nice. I've seen people actually use that, like in a like Harry Potter scene, using them to kind of have a festral type of a look to them. They look kind of like undead horses. A little creepy, but still, still fun. Delicious says Necromancer would look good on that. But yeah, I have to think forward to elsewhere where Necromancers 
with a mind driven horse. That would be a good look. Okay, opening up more. I didn't have very many crown gems at all when I started, so I'm up to over a thousand already just from duplicates. And I'll end up gemming a lot of the potions and foods and things like that at the end as well. Chronic Moxie says, thanks for all the awesome ESO fun. I needed to finally sub. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's exceptional, but it's like this... A blue reward I already have. Pacruti does get a little tiring after after some time. You eventually just kind of tune him out. For the most part. <laughs> he haunts me in my dreams. After opening so many, mostly getting duplicates. Still, still hoping for another apex. Still missing four of them. <laughs> Leo says, "I wish we could turn Pikrudi off." Maybe, maybe. Once more, my good friend. And always just turn the sound off. Gold card! Mind driven again. More gems. Another gold card. Another bonus. Traffic says, what's up today? Opening lots of crown crates. Opening 150. I've opened... 105 so far. So just went over the two-thirds mark. 44 to go. Everybody messing with my lights. Wishing me luck. Storm Atro Transform Memento. First time opening him up in this. I had had it from before. We'll preview these at the end as well. Okay. Have enough crown gems to buy three of the Apex right now. I think after I gem everything, I'll be able to buy everything. So it's probably about what you need. If you want everything, which is maybe a bit much to want. Might be a bit much to want everything. Otherwise, you just need to get enough gems to get exactly what you want. Make a selection. You left. 36 left. I actually kind of like these crates compared to some of the other ones. A lot of good basic things in them. I do like the Storm Atro effect too. And they don't feel as intimidating because they don't have the Radiant Apex, so... Anything that is in these you can buy with the gems, so you don't feel like you're missing out, because the Radiant Apex you can't buy with gems. Cruising along, just a few crates left. 30 crates left. Gems are starting to add up, though. <laughs> Auntie says moo. Moo to you. Perfectly respectable. Mm, time for a repeat performance. This looks uh -huh. Select I'm still hoping. Still hoping for another apex. Or two. Or three. Or four. I would save me a lot of gems. More gems I save are more of those deadly trap plants that I can buy from the Zanmir crates. It's been a while since I've got new purple. I might have got all the purple ones at this point. 
Oh, there we go. New mount. Clouded Cinch Leopard. Fun, fun. Cinch. Or a form of Khajiit. <laughs> we'll be getting lots more Khajiit forms with elsewhere. Like the Elfique. I want my little Elfique assistants. Oh, another one. Oh, I'm lucky. Clouded Cinch Leopard Cub. So I got the, the mount and the cub. Aw, they're adorable. I need all the cats and all the puppers. <laughs> Especially I need all the kitties going into elsewhere, though. Here we've hit 1,500 crown gems. Eighteen left. Most of the way done. Started with 150. A few left. Oh, everybody's saying that the kitty is cute. Oh, I know. Have to catch them all. It's where I think that there are enough pets and mounts in the game that they really need to add some sort of other functionality to them to make them a bit more exciting to actually collect them. Like being able to place more of them in your house would be a good start. Some sort of like a pet battle or something would be fun too, or if you could actually like decorate them up. This one wishes you great luck. Make a Handful left. Down to our last ten. Ten to go. Oh, I'm ho I'm hoping I get an apex in the these last couple crates, just so it will save me a bunch of gems. Seven left. More gems. Okay. And... Cold card. Legendary card. Frostmare. I had that one before. I think I had opened 30 during the first go-through, so all in all, I will have opened 180. And that should have been about enough to be able to buy everything with gems. A couple of these I had from before. But not very many. Last one. Last crate. Last chance for Apex. Oh. Oh, so opening 150 got me two Apex. I got those both in, both in the first half. So the last half of this was a little more dry. Okay, so going to decon with new things I got. See how many gems I ended up with. I'll save the crown riding lessons just because, as far as actually being able to gear up some of my alts, I think the crown lessons are actually a pretty good value. Pretty well everything else I'm gonna decon though. You make sure not to gem some of my other rare things like my plants. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. So I have 2200 crown gems. That should be enough to be able to buy everything that I missed out on. I think so. So these will cost 1600. Ooh, how many gaps do I have? I did manage to get all but one of the legendary items. Got all the epics and all the superiors. Okay, so that means I can buy all the rest of these. There we go. And I got it all. Got it all. Malo, 2018 with 100 bits. Thank you so much for your support. That was fun, opening 150 of these. So I'm going to preview these now. So there are two ways to, you can preview these. You can either go into this and hover over it and hit R to preview it, and then that will show everything that is in these. 
and I now have all of these things which I'm happy about. Or you can just go to each of the tiers here and look at the Apex rewards and then the Legendary and so forth. But since the Radiant Apex in most of the Crown Crates aren't actually purchasable, the only way to preview those is to go over and hit R on this and then they'll have Radiant Apex at the, the top. But I do want to preview these so that you can kind of see what is in these in case if you are wondering what to get out of these. So I did end up getting two Apex mounts. I got the bear and the wolf just by opening these out of 150 crates. Maybe that was good luck. Maybe that was bad luck. I feel like that was probably about on par. I, maybe I was going to get two or three out of them, but I got two. So I like the wolf. And you can also preview what these look like with the different gear setups with the speed or stamina or inventory or all three of them. So they, they do have little pouches on their back if you want to look at that. Okay, so here's the camel and the guar. Love the guar. And the horse. There's the cinch. And then for these rewards, we have the the lion, and the dog, and the leopard mount, and the cub. Mole McGuffin says, oh, hi, good to see ya. This is a dwarf-style mage's hat. You look a little crazy in it. I believe you can dye this as well. Frost Mare, one of the more popular mounts, does have this kind of crystal and effect coming off of it more kind of crazy look mind shriven skin very popular man i look something and the horse mind shriven horse does have these kind of sparky effects a little magical kind of radiates with this undead magic and the orchid nixid good purple color on that Looks a little creepy with that buggy face, though. Red Pit Wolf. And the pup. Aww. Aww. I, I, I love the happy faces on the pups. Rosy Match Calf. And if you want to turn yourself into a Storm Atronach, you can do that. And it actually lasts kind of a while. So this is one of the mementos. It's, it's kind of fun. Makes you undead, and then you have all these kind of rocks floating all around on you. And then the Tangerine Dragon Frog. Can you see that okay with the... <laughs> so low there. Here's the Brocade. The brocade robes. It's probably not Brocade. <laughs> it looks good on a bro, though. The arbuckle symbols, tats. Belly Dancer Veil, very popular, very popular. Gives you a little bit of mystery right there on your face. Veils your face a little bit at least. Cute Chubloon, aww, Chubloon's one of my favorites. Here are the scales, if you have an Argonian, which I don't, that's why it's using this default character. Kind of a cool look on that one. Lord Six says the aura is really loud. May yeah, I notice that too. Here's a feathered headdress. I don't, even, I don't even remember them having these previews the first time around. Here's a golden eye guar. Claw cap with little claws here. Keep all the ladies away. Just keep telling yourself that. Here's the ball gown. Palomino horse, kind of a basic one, but if you're into horses, you kind of have to have all those too. Daggerback, cute 
purple, purple boar. It's like a punk boar. <laughs> it's cute. I drop that doesn't really show up on the preview at all. This is only for Khajiit. Just juggling with the storm orbs. Misha says, congrats on all your goodies, J-Heart. Yeah, so I got all of this. I was able to get enough gems opening 150 of these to be able to afford them. Though, I had opened, I think, 30 the first time around, so 180 was enough to get me enough crown gems to actually be able to buy everything, so... Here's the Arbic Eye. If you want a really, really fancy look for one of your eyes. It's very colorful. And the antler skull cap. <laughs> if you want to be the leader of like a hunting group, social group. A few more things here are the superior rewards clever man wizard hat, the circlet, battle mage armor. This actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> or the captain uniform. There are a lot of armors within the superior rewards. So if you're just looking for some good costumes, you'll get these even for just like the blue rewards, and they're kind of cheap. Daedric scamp, always fun. I see lots of scamps being used as in player houses being used as like to greet you to spas and things like that or to take your money for events and things like that. people have fun using these as some of the workers in some of the professional settings that people make in their houses kind of funny here's the evening dress one of my favorites it is one of my favorites Feathered cap. Looks like a right proper Robin Hood with this. For the spiral hat. And here's a cute little lizard. Lizard makes a good addition to like a terrarium if you're going with a desert themed house. Javelin blades for your Argonian. Or some frills. Shadow stripings for your Khajiit. Let's don't preview for some reason. It'd be kind of cool if you could add this mannequin to your house. Just saying. Here's a Shornhelm Shepherd. It has no teeth. It's an older model that doesn't have teeth, which is kind of weird, but it's what it is. Soldier of an armor. Or the leather outfit. Or the ragged clothing. There's a storm astral aura. Another memento. This keeps your form while just having this swirl around you as opposed to you actually turning into the storm atro. So, kind of a different look. And the buzz cut. Oh, no. I don't <laughs> I do not like that. <laughs> Let's just uh, get rid of that. Okay. And then you'll get a smattering of fine rewards and potions and things as well. So that was fun. So thank you, everybody, for the crate opening. We'll do some rewards here for Twitch chat. And thank you, everybody, for watching as I opened 150 crown crates. I was able to get all I needed from the Storm Atro with that. Now it seemed like maybe, maybe you need about 165, maybe 180 to actually be able to get enough gems to buy all of the ones that you need with the gems based off of the drop rates and everything. Maybe you'll only get a couple of the Radiant, well, not Radiant, some of the Apex mounts from these, these Storm Atro mounts, because there, there aren't any Radiant Apex with the Storm Atro crates. So good luck with those. This is probably also kind of indicative of what the drop rates are going to be like on any of the other crown crates that you might open. 
you'll get an apex here and there, and otherwise you'll get a good smattering of all the other rewards. So, good luck to you if you open Crown Crates in the future for yourself, or if you think that these aren't worth it, then that's up to you as well. You make that you make that choice. So have fun with that, and stay spicy. Moo.